Look at how beautiful that water is out there. It's really shallow there where they're at. That's why it's so light blue. And that's why they're all just hanging out out there. You can see people standing out there. This is between Destin and uh, Fort Walton. Awesome looking, just beautiful. So friends, this little town is Fort Walton Beach that I'm in right now. They're waving at us there. Or are they washing the window? I don't know. They seem like they're really nice to me. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, we're on Highway 98. We're going to go back over those bridges that I showed you earlier. I came here and actually purchased a new metal detector. I've had one for years. A Garrett. And I bought another Garrett. And I got a real good deal on it. That's why I came over here. But what's crazy about this area is it's only about 35 miles to from where our house is on the beach to here. But it took like an hour and 15 minutes because of so much traffic and stoplights. Oh, my Lord, the stoplights. I have never in my life. I'm going to show you over here. You can see the the hotels and motels and Holiday Inns and that says Emerald Coast on it right there. See the giant volleyball or giant beach ball I should say on top of that building. So this is the Destin area. You see Destin it's only six more miles. The heart of Destin. And last time we came, we stayed down in this area, more on this end, but we were not this far out. We were several miles back. And this reminds me, this little area right here reminds me of Biloxi where Elvis actually stayed at the Sun and Sands Hotel back then they had a bridge across like that and it would have been on this side of the road on the ocean side just like we have right here maybe even look a little like that and look at these sand dunes the ocean is right there on that side and this is still undeveloped. This is a, like a national park, the National Seashore, they call it. So friends, that right there is the ocean meeting a body of water that comes under us and goes over there where the people were standing earlier. Look at that hotel. Or, I'm not sure if that's a hotel or not, but boy, I bet it's nice. It looks real nice, doesn't it? I love doing stuff on the water, on the beach. It is just a lot of fun. And last time we were here, we ate at, I think, AJ's back there and we see Johnny's you've got and this is Destin you've got the donut hole that we like to eat at here for breakfast look at that boathouse oyster bar I don't know how many of you love oysters but I do I've had oysters uh, last night in fact I have a uh, an oyster story when I was a kid my dad I rode with him in the truck one time and this was, I was a little bit older than the time, if you've heard the story about me spray painting the inside of the door, accidentally. But we were driving and dad brought me to a little uh, restaurant that he would stop and eat lunch at down around Swan Quarter, North Carolina, real close to the coast. You know, it's a coastal area. And he got me fried oysters. And I was probably... I'm gonna guess eight or nine years old, and I have loved them ever since. 
I would not eat shrimp, but I would eat fried oysters. Now, I like, I've had raw oysters, I've had oysters on the half shell, broiled, baked, all the ways that you can imagine it. When I was in the Netherlands, where the Colonel, where Colonel Tom Parker got on a cruise ship and came to America, there's the donut hole right there, by the way. Great place to eat breakfast. And other times, I would assume. But the colonel, the place that he got on the boat where they used to sell the tickets to get on the cruise ships there in Rotterdam, Netherlands. The ticket office is now a hotel and a restaurant called the New York Hotel. It is really, really nice. And I ate at that restaurant in there and I got oysters. I almost call it oysters from around the world. I think it was 16 oysters. Two... Each pair was from a different salt water body of water, from my memory. I'd have to go back and look at the video. But it was something like that that was really interesting, and I ate them all. And they were raw, by the way. And they were really, really extra, extra good. When you see, it talks about Louisiana. I'm not much on... Low country boils, low country boils, and things like that are really not my thing. I like um, fried seafood, what we call in North Carolina calabash style, which would be popcorn, shrimp, fried oysters, fried um, scallops, but real scallops. If you see the little tiny scallops that are different sizes, that's not real scallops. That's skate fish that they cut up into that. If you see the big fat ones like you see on Hell's Kitchen with Chef Ramsay, that's the real thing. And uh, I've been to restaurants and had both. And, of course, the real scallops do not taste like the, uh, the skatefish scallops. Not really. But I also love uh, cold-boiled shrimp. And what they do there is they will boil it and then they'll put it in ice. That's really good. I like uh, steamed shrimp. I like baked shrimp, grilled shrimp, shrimp kebab, shrimp creole, shrimp. We went there last time we were here, by the way, to Big Kahuna's. Anytime we come down to this area, we do a whole lot of eating, and there's a Chick-fil-A at the beach right there. Yeah. I notice there's not a line around the building. And where we stayed at last time we were here is that last tall building down there, on just on the other side of it. And we were in a, a building, but it, actually I think we were in that building, now that I think of it. I'll have to to look and see but you know I can't remember things from 45 years ago and I certainly can't if I can't remember those I definitely can't remember things from five years ago six years ago but yep it was one of those buildings right there that I stayed at with the fam I'd have to drive in there to be able to figure out which one but it was definitely one of them nice little area but it's taken me forever to drive just a short distance we ate at Fudpuckers before, last time we were here. So actually, I think I'm telling you wrong on the tall buildings. I think it was further this way, past Fudpuckers. See how your memories can just run together? But when I see something that looks familiar, it'll trigger a thought. And those tall buildings back there now that I think of it, I think are too tall. I don't believe it was those. I think that's too much. This is the Destin Beaches. But you know, I, I, I might have been right. Heck, I don't know. How about that? It's okay to say you don't know. I do know there was an outlet across the street from where we were, and I think it's that outlet.
So now that I've driven further, it was, I'm pretty sure, back there where those tall buildings were. So I'm not seeing any more. So anyway, not that it matters. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't say anything that's not 100% accurate. Because I can tell you what, if I do, you know what I have, what will happen? Hey, man, I'll tell you what. I can't believe that you said that you stayed over there when you actually stayed over here. And I go, dude, are you really paying that much attention to my life? If you are, how are you living yours? Hmm. <laughs> and right there at Acme, and we ate at this Brewster's right here. We did eat there. You've not had Brewster's. We got one in Hendersonville now. It is extra good. Jacketa, Jacketas, not sure how to, Jacketus, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But you know on Vegas Vacation, they had that song, traveling down the holiday road. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not exactly right, but that's, you get the gist of it. Traveling down that holiday road. Oh, la da 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 Jack jumped over that candlestick. Oh, holiday road. Holiday road. <laughs> but actually, where we stayed at was these right here. They're not real tall, but those right there, you just got a glimpse of it. That's where we stayed. And it's south of town. So that tells you what I've remembered. We were north of town when we saw the other big ones. There you go. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.